welcome to the class. So, uh, what we have been studying is basically the MIMO transmission and what we learned in the last class was that it helps us in transmitting multiple data symbols in parallel on the same resource element. Okay? And we did not assume that transmitter has a channel knowledge. Okay? Even with that, we saw that it is like it is possible to exploit MIMO gains which was basically by transmitting multiple symbols in parallel. Okay? Now then we saw that in that case interstream interference which is basically the uh, interference between two uh, streams which is basically called layers in 5G is cancelled at, at the receiver. Okay? Transmitter does not have any role to play in the interference cancellation in this interstream interference cancellation. And I claim that capacity is increased if, we trans if the transmitter has the, if the transmitter has channel knowledge, okay, right. And we started looking at that, okay, and what we uh, saw and basically was something uh, which is singular value decomposition, okay. We will see that how it is used uh, when like basically transmitter has the channel knowledge, okay. So, this decomposition will be uh, extremely useful in that case. Okay? So, this is and what this decomposition, singular value decomposition tells us is that any NR cross anti matrix can be decomposed like this, okay? equivalent, there is no difference. Okay? So, H is basically can, is, can be decomposed into three different matrices, okay? W, lambda, V Hermitian. And what are the properties of uh, W and V? W has orthogonal columns okay, and V Hermitian has orthogonal rows. Okay, right? And see that they are basically they are not square matrix that is why I am not saying that they are orthogonal matrices, they are rectangular matrices NR cross NL, NL cross NT, okay, so can be any dimension. right? So that is why it is not necessary that there are orthogonal columns and orthogonal rows. So it is uh, it's specific orthogonal columns and orthogonal rows okay, for W and V respectively. And what is lambda? Lambda is a diagonal matrix NL cross NL containing ordered singular values. Okay. These the uh, elements of this matrix are basically positive numbers and they are called singular values and they are arranged in a descending order. Okay. Right. So, and how many such non-zero values are there? NL. Okay. And what is NL? NL is basically minimum of NR comma NT right? and it is known as the rank of channel and this rank of channel is known as number of layers in 5G okay. and what it tells us is how many such parallel layers can be transmitted on each resource element. I okay. will show you that, I will give you a proof of that. that uh, you can transmit an L number of symbols on each resource element. Basically, the number of layers is equal to the rank of the channel, okay, H. And that is, in this case, and we are saying it is minimum of NR, NT. So, this is one decomposition we will need to basically study what? We are going to study the case when transmitter has the channel knowledge, okay, right? And how does it use? to basically increase the capacity, okay, to do better than the case when transmitter does not have the channel knowledge, right. With uh, transmitter does not have the channel knowledge, then also when you have MIMO, you could transmit minimum number of, uh, well, you could transmit two layers when trans, uh, transmitter and receiver had two antennas each, right, okay. Typically, you can transmit n l layers, okay, which is minimum of n r comma n t, okay. Now, this is what it is, informs how many symbols or layers can be transmitted on same subcarrier in parallel, subcarrier resource element. Okay? Now, so this is what, this is the decomposition we are going to use. Okay? And what are we saying here is a generic TDD 5G system where uh, G node B has NT antennas and UE has NR antennas. Okay? Right? So, why is TDD? Because if you know the uplink channel, you can uh, know the downlink channel. Okay, that's the uh, that's the assumption. Okay, right? So, G node B knows the downlink channel H, same as uh, uplink channel, which is estimated using SRS sounding reference signal. We did that exercise when each UE was transmitting only one symbol. You remember? Okay, 
right? We'll do this exercise for this case also, okay, wherein uh, UE has NR antennas, okay? We'll do that exercise. But we know that uh, uplink channel is estimated using SRS, correct? Okay. So, now what we are assuming the transmitter has this knowledge of H, okay, which is basically the G naught B. Okay. It is somehow estimated using SRS. Okay. I will show you how it is done actually, but uh, to see how it precodes, we assume that transmitter has this channel knowledge H, okay. the G naught B, which, is the, which, will, which will be the transmitter. So, G naught B calculates the desired precoder okay. because it knows H. Okay, is going to pre-code its signal okay, and which it did not do in earlier MIMO case when it did not have the transmit channel information, correct? You remember that in the last class. So, and how is it going to calculate the desired precoder? It uses SVD okay, and we know the decomposition, SVD decomposition okay, and how many layers is going to transmit? It is going to transmit an L which is minimum of NR, NT. Okay, so, those many number of data symbols is going to transmit in parallel. Okay. That is the idea because it knows H. So, what it does is, okay, if you, you have to connect it back to what we saw earlier. Okay. Earlier there were two transmit and two receive antennas. So, what was the dimension of this vector x? x1 and x2 basically transmitted two symbols in parallel. Now, what are we saying? It, trans, it will transmit n l symbols in parallel and n l is how much? Minimum of n r comma n t. Right, if it is 2 comma 2, how many, what will be that, what will it will be x1 and x2, correct, okay, that is what it means. So, we are doing it considering a more generic case, okay. And what it does is, what will G node be do is, it will basically, it will take this symbol x, okay, it is transmitting these NL symbols in parallel, okay, x which is that, okay, correct. And so, it is, okay, there is a small type, there is a transpose over here, okay. And what it does is, it basically precodes them as how, how will it precode? It takes this precoder V, okay, I am calling this as precoder V. It multiplies this uh, symbol X with this precoder V, okay. What is this? This is a vector X and this is a matrix. How it creates this matrix, I will show you, okay. This is the operation being done at the transmitter, okay. Earlier when base station did not have this channel knowledge, what did it do? It did not do any V, it did not multiply with V, it simply used, it transmitted X, okay. So, there is this additional step of multiplying with V, okay, right. And how is it generated? What is, you see this, what was the size of V, okay. It was, V Hermitian was NL cross NT, correct, okay. And what will happen, V, what will be the dimension of V? Of course, NT cross NL, right. It, it, Hermitian, you if V Hermitian is NL cross NT, what will happen? V will become NT cross NL. Do you understand what is Hermitian? You take the transpose with a conjugate, okay. So, that is what is happening, okay. Now, see this over here. Okay. So, this is V is V is of this size and what is the size of X? NL cross 1. There is a, as I said, there is a transpose sitting over here. So, dimensions are matching. V into X, so it is NT cross NL into NL cross 1. Correct, okay. So, what is, what will be the dimension of this x tilde nt cross 1, correct. So, it is a vector, vector of size nt cross 1, correct. So, what is this? That is what I am writing x tilde is nt cross 1 because that is how you multiply it, that is how you created v, okay. And I am, these are the components, I am just denoting the components, okay. It is and so, this is x tilde is x1 to x nt. So, it is actually there is a, a transpose missing over here, that is a typo, same copy paste mistake, okay. So, it is so it's a, it's a uh, column vector, okay, right. Now, what is the system model for this precoded MIMO transmission, okay. What have we done here? We have basically created a precoded transmit vector, correct. And that is what this is the vector we are going to transmit now. Okay. And what is this? What is, what is the dimension of this vector? How many components are there? NT components. Here only NL components were there. Okay. And after precoding, there are NT components. Okay. So, you, you can see this precoder as mapping from NL dimension to NT dimension. Correct? Okay. That is what is happening. Right? 
we have blown it up from nl dimension to nt dimension and this is the vector which we are going to transmit and how are you going to transmit there are nt antennas as an nt dimension vector you will take one component transmit it from first antenna second component you will transmit it from second antenna ntth component transmit from ntth antenna that is what we are going to do you see this then ok. So, what is this that is I am writing the system model now ok. So, what is this is the so how many antennas are there there are n r antennas ok. So, this is the signal being received at first receive antenna ok and what will be received at the first receive antenna signal transmitted from first transmit antenna and the channel you remember the notation let us recapture signal transmitted from first transmit antenna to first receive antenna ok this is a channel. Similarly, what is happening here signal transmitted from second antenna and this is a channel from second antenna transmit antenna to first receive antenna what happens after that ok let me stand here what is this signal transmitted from nth transmit antenna to nth transmit antenna and this is a channel from nth transmit antenna to first receive antenna and this is noise right ok. So, generic system model ok. Now, how many such antenna receive antennas are there n r. So, similarly, similarly is the case for the second receive antenna what is happening signal transmitted from first transmit antenna and channel from first transmit antenna to second receive antenna. Similarly, second receive and transmit antenna to second receive antenna nth transmit antenna to second receive antenna noise at second antenna. Similarly, you can write it for n r receive antennas ok same thing fine ok right. So, this is the system model ok and the first thing we do once we have written this kind of system model is write in matrix vector form ok. I will call this as vector y, I will call this as vector n, I know what vector x tilde is I have already defined it with, with a transpose ok. So, let us write it like this ok. So, what happens here? This is this vector y right what will be the dimension of vector y n r cross 1 what will be the dimension of n n r cross 1 what will be the dimension of x tilde we already know it is n t cross 1 and what will be the dimension of h then n r cross n t right and how will you how will you what is the, what is contained in this vector uh, matrix h h 1 1 all these components ok just for the for the sake of writing it will write it once and will not write it after that what is this h 1 1 h 1 2 h 1 and t right and what will be the final one h n r h n r 1 right and this will be h n r 2 and what will be n r n t. So, it is a what is the dimension of this h n r cross n t that is what I am that it will be right because you are taking x tilde is n t cross 1 this will be h n r n r cross n t right and this is n r right ok. So, uh, that is how it is fine ok. So, this is this is our system model ok right. So, dimension of this channel is n r cross n t fine. Now, once we know this is very easy to analyze what is happening after that ok. So, this is our pre-coded uh, MIMO transmission ok. Now, we know what is h ok can we can we write it like this w lambda we had mentioned this is the equivalent way of writing this matrix ok and how are we what is x tilde x tilde is v of x right and what did we say v Hermitian v it has basically orthogonal rows. So, that will become identity. So, what are we left with w lambda into x plus n this is a signal which is being received now ok. So, you see this this precoder is basically nullifying some interference ok that is because v Hermitian v is, is identity we are using that fact ok. Now, but still it is there is some interference at the receiver ok which which has to be handled ok. So, now this is the signal which is received now what will u e do it will use the receiver w to sep to separate the n l layers ok. 
right. So, what it does, what UE does is, UE also knows the channel, okay, right. And what it does basically is, it will multiply this receive signal with W of Hermitian, okay. This W is, is this, this W, okay. So, it multiplies this with, this received vector with W Hermitian, okay. What happens then? What are we left with? What is Y? Y is this. Just substitute it over here. What will you left with? W Hermitian W gives you identity. So, what are you left with? What is Y till now? Lambda into X plus noise. And if you open this up, what is this? This is a diagonal matrix into this vector. And what is the dimension of this lambda? N L cross N L. What is the dimension of X? N L cross 1. Right, what is the dimension of y tilde? It will be n l cross 1. Similarly, dimension of this will also be n l cross 1, okay. You see this w Hermitian, um, you'll, you'll, this n will also get multiplied with w Hermitian, okay. Right, so, but there is a reason that I have written it as w Hermitian, w Hermitian, okay. I am not going to go into the details of this, but this w Hermitian n is basically has as same distribution as is is has same distributed uh, distribution as n okay right so basically if if n has some mean and covariance matrix w hermitian n has also the same mean and covariance matrix let's stop at that okay right because n is gaussian w hermitian is a ortho I mean it has orthonormal columns so the statistics of n does not change, okay. So, you can write it in this case, that is why I did not write it specifically W Hermitian n. It is, I said noise, noise characteristics do not change. So, that is what I am saying over here. So, what, what do we have over here? Lambda into x plus n, okay. Now, if you look at, so what are these resultant NL streams? What will, if you look at the first component of y tilde, what are you going to get? What is, how does this matrix look like? Lambda 1, if you multiply this matrix with this vector, what are you going to get? Lambda 1 into x1, because this is a diagonal matrix, right? This is the first component. What will be the last component? Lambda nl into xnl plus noise, okay? What has happened? I look at this vector y tilde, okay, right? There is no interference in the streams now. Before I multiplied it with W, these streams were coupled together. You can write it for yourselves, okay, right? Till you receive Y, okay, there's all these streams are coupled together, okay. But after multiplying it with W Hermitian, all these streams get decoupled because we have, we know that, that this is W and if I multiply it with W Hermitian, I'm going to get an identity matrix, okay. So, all these streams get decoupled and if you look at the first component of y tilde, you get lambda 1 x 1, look at the second component of y tilde, we are going to get lambda 2 x 2 and you look at the last component, you will get the last component, but noisy component, okay. So, what has happened here, okay. Part of the interference is cancelled at the transmitter, V Hermitian V and part of the interference is cancelled at the receiver, right, okay. That is, this is the receiver being designed, this is the precoder being designed, okay. Right, so both of them, transmitter and receiver, share the responsibility of cancelling the precoder, of cancelling the interstream interference. Okay, that gives better performance than the case when only receiver has to cancel the interference. Okay, there's an easier way, intuitive way of understanding things. Okay, right. So I'm not showing you the plot, but this gives you a better performance. Okay, a higher capacity than the case when transmitter did not have the channel knowledge. Right. So, interstream interference is cancelled at both, where is it cancelled? Partly at G node V transmitter and partly at UE receiver, partly at G node V transmitter, partly at UE receiver, right, okay. So, this is one example of precoded MIMO transmission, okay. So, how does the overall system uh, diagram look like, okay. What are we doing? We are taking NL streams, multiplying it with precoder V. What do you get? You get an NT dimensional vector, you transmit that vector from these antennas, gets undergoes this transformation gets multiplied by the channel then what do you get uh, nr cross 1 vector right what do you do here you multiply it with w hermitian okay and then what do you get here is nl independent streams right that's what i showed you in the last slide okay so 
Now G naught B faces two problem before it can actually do this precoding. What did we assume? That it has this knowledge of H, correct? Needs to estimate this complete H, that's what I am saying, okay? Why I am saying complete unprecoded channel is H? Because you look at this, this is a raw channel, okay? Right? This, it does not get multiplied by precoder. In order to estimate this channel, G naught B should know this channel so that it can design this precoder V, correct? Okay? Right? And that's why I am calling this as raw, you can call this as raw channel, okay? And or complete unprecoded channel because what we call as precoded channel will come later, okay? You multiply H with V, it becomes a precoded channel, okay? That is going to come little later, okay? But in this case, for the transmitter to design this precoder V, it needs to know this channel H and that is what is called this complete unprecoded channel H. How is it going to estimate? Okay, it is going to estimate using SRS. Okay. Why? Because what have we assumed? It is a TDD system, right? So base station will estimate the uplink channel, right? And that uplink channel is same as the downlink channel, right? Okay, so that is the fact. Okay. Now this is first problem, we are going to solve it. Okay. And it needs to know the MCS, it is also there okay. and it uses CSIRS to basically estimate this, find out this MCS. You remember this is the same exercise we did yesterday also in the last class, but what was that? It was done only for single symbol transmission, there were no layers. Okay. So, we are extending that study for this MIMO transmission. Okay. So, first thing we are, what are we going to do? We are going to estimate the uplink channel using SRS. U is going to transmit the SRS and then it is going to, base station is going to estimate the channel H. Let us see how that happens, okay. Then finally, so these are the two problems. What was the third problem which was left? U e needs to estimate the precoded channel H to demodulate this data. I will show you that why I am, this precoded channel, what happens, okay. It is basically, precoded channel is H into V, okay. So, it is enough that the UE estimates this product of these two, uh, product of this channel with the precoder, okay, right. So, I will show you that only that is required, okay. So, UE needs to estimate the precoded channel, that is the final step, but base station needs to estimate the complete channel H, okay, right. I will show you that this precoded channel has much lesser, lesser dimension than, than this unprecoded channel, we will see that, okay. Right. So, step number one, what are the three problems left for us to study? Before this actual PDSCH precoded transmission can happen, base station needs to estimate this channel H, needs to find out the MCS, okay, and then UE needs to estimate the precoded channel to demodulate the data, okay, right. So, let us start with problem number one and so this is the problem number one and we are going to discuss this in the next class, okay, but uh, the summary here is, okay that what we have done from different from the last classes as follows, okay. We considered a very specific example of a 2 cross 2 system, okay, wherein it was unprecoded, okay. And what was base station doing since and we assume that it had only two transmit antennas, okay, two it and two uh, UE had two receive antennas. So, it could transmit only two symbols in parallel that is NL minimum of NT comma NR. But what G naught B did was, okay, it did not precode the signal, correct? And it just took this, what happens, okay? You can think of that case as V as being set as identity matrix, okay? So you look at this, that is that's something uh, very easy to understand. This is a much more generic example, okay. Let us say how, let us see how does this reduce to the case when base station did not have the transmit channel information, okay, right. So what happens if NT is 2, NR is 2? Let us, let us work out this because we have time, okay. Let us work out this example, what, what will happen, what if NT is, is equal to NR is equal to 2? Right? Okay. What happens in this case? NL will be correct. Okay. Now, uh, then NT is also 2. Okay. What happens to X? So, what will be the dimension of X? It will be a 2 cross 1 vector X1 and X2 because the number of layers is 2. Right? Okay. 
base station did not have the transmit channel information. It cannot do SVD, it cannot pre-code, it, it does not know how to generate that V, correct? Okay, so what will happen? It sets that V as identity matrix, correct? And what is the size of this V? That also we know, it is NT cross NL, right? Okay, so in this case what is NT, what is NL? Both of them are 2, right? Okay, so this will be a 2 cross 2 matrix. How will this precoded signal look like in that case? X tilde is equal to identity into X is equal to X, right? Okay. What will the dimension of H? It will be 2 cross 2 system, NR cross NT, right? So, what is happening? So, what will our, how will our receive signal look like? Y is equal to H X plus N. Dimension of H is 2 cross 2, right? X tilde, why I have written X, X tilde? Because X tilde is equal to X, okay? Right? It is 2 cross 1 plus noise is 2 cross 1, that is the dimension, okay? So, what you get over here is a 2 cross 1 system, correct? Okay. Now, and this is the system we had yesterday, right? Y is equal to H x plus n. So, this is the system we had, Y is equal to H x plus n, okay? Now, can you use this, see, UE knows, knows the channel, okay? Can it use W Hermitian to cancel the interstream interference? You remember what receiver did the UE use when the ba when base station did not record, we use zero forcing receiver, right? Okay. Let's say if you use here y is equal to h x plus n. Now, how did we generate y tilde? We multiplied it with h inverse, correct? Into y, right? Okay. And what you got there was n plus x plus h inverse into n. So receiver design was different. Correct? Okay. That is how this unprecoded transmission is different from precoded transmission. Okay. In this case, this is unprecoded case. So, you see this, okay. W Hermitian is different from this precoded case, okay. So, this framework is general, correct? Okay. If base station has the transmitter channel knowledge, then you can design V and this receiver W Her Hermitian accordingly, correct? If it does not have this information, then it sets, base station sets this V as identity. Base station did not precode it, okay. And accordingly, what is happening over here is, okay, if it uses this same precoded W, uh, same receiver W Hermitian in this case, okay, will the interference get cancelled? What do you think? Okay, will the interference get cancelled if it uses the same receiver W Hermitian when the base station is not precoding the signal? What happens? What will happen? Let us write it and see. I will just write, go back, okay. So, what happens? Y is equal to H X plus N, right, okay. So, what is U lambda V Hermitian into X plus N or sorry W, we wrote it as W, right, okay. Now, if it, you, this is Y, if W Hermitian Y is done, which we call as Y tilde, Right. What will happen? W Hermitian W will be identity, but what are you left with? Right? Okay. What is this? If you look at Y tilde, and this is Y tilde, can you still, are these streams or layers still decoupled? No. Because V Hermitian X, v, this V Hermitian is still coupling these streams. Right? You do this matrix multiplication with X, what are you going to get? in? Y tilde 1, first component of it, you will see all the streams being, all the streams will be coming here and let us call this channel as V. So, it will be something like V11 X1 plus V12 X2 will go on. You can do this exercise yourself, okay, right. So, you cannot use the same receiver which is being used in this case when transmitter has this channel knowledge and it designs a precoder. Okay, that is you will have to use a different receiver and that is the receiver we used with, that was H inverse, okay. 
H inverse is able to decouple these streams. So the point here is that this is a generic framework. Okay. Now whether you use a precoder or not, okay, your receiver design will be accordingly different. Okay. If uh, base station is using the precoder, then you will use the receiver as W Hermitian. The base station is not using the precoder, you will have to design a zero forcing receiver. That is all. Okay. Right. So this framework is applicable. So you will see that the system, our 5G system is designed accordingly, keeping this in mind. Okay. So I will stop here, we will continue discussing this in the next class also. Thank you.